Good morning students. Today we will go ahead with the revision of chapter 2 flower, fruit and seed. Agents of pollination. The pollen grains are transferred from anther to the stigma through insects, wind, water or animals. They are therefore termed as the agent of pollination. Pollination by insects. There are many insects that visit a flower to collect nectar such as bees, butterflies, beetles. When they suck nectar from the flower, the pollen grains get stuck to their bodies. When these insects visit to another flower, they transfer pollen grains to the stigma of that flower. Such flowers which are pollinated by insects are called entomophilus flower. Generally, these flowers are large and showy with bright color petals to attract insects. They have sweet smell, sticky pollen grains and stigma. Pollination by animals. Animals such as birds, squirrel, bats help in pollination. Such flowers are called zoophilus flowers. These flowers produce plenty of nectar but they do not have scents. They are colored especially red and orange to attract animals. Among animals, snail, bat and birds especially the hummingbird are the most common pollinating agent. Do you know flower of Rafflesia is pollinated by elephant? Pollination by wind. Flowers are pollinated by wind are called anemophilous flowers. Such flowers are generally small and not showy. They do not produce nectar or scent. The petals of flowers are not colored and are often green colored. These flowers, pollen grains are light, dry and smooth. They are produced in large quantity as very few may reach the stigma of a flower. The stigma of such flowers are large, feathery and hang out to easily receive the pollen grains carried by wind in them. Pollination by water. Aquatic plants release pollen grains into water. Water carries pollen grains for pollination. Such flowers are called hydrophilus flowers. The best example of hydrophilus flowers are Velesneria and Hydrilla. In Velesneria, the male flower is submerged in the water. And female flower with a long stalk floats on the surface of the water. As the plant get mature, the male flower get detached and floats on water. With the help of the water current, when male flowers come in contact with the female flower, the transfer of pollens from male flower to the stigma of the female flower take place. Fertilization The second stage in the process of reproduction after pollination is fertilization. The process of fertilization involves the fusion of male and female reproductive cell or gametes. Pollen grains land on a stigma and produce a tube called pollen tube. This tube carries the male gametes through the style to the ovary which contains the ovules. Each ovule contain a female gametes. The male gametes that combines with the female gametes that is act to form a fertilized cell called zygote which develops into a seed. 
after fertilization the ovule present in the ovary grows to become a seed the seed contains embryo embryo means baby plant and food for developing new plants a seed is a sexual reproductive body of a plant which can be used to grow more plants actually all the ovules present in the ovary of a flower get fertilized by pollen grains and grow to become seed thus the ovary of a flower may give rise to number of seeds and after fertilization the ovary of a flower develops and become a fruit thus the fruit is a ripened ovary of a flower thank you students